بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر So inshallah we will learn today page number 37 from Easy Quran Reading Book and we'll continue from the mad with alif so you can see here mad with alif it means we need to stretch the letter which has alif mad so start with letter a say a a a nasa a nasa a nasa next ba ba da ra ba da ra so whenever you stretch any letter ask yourself why are you stretching ba da ra you see we are stretching the letter ba and we are not stretching dal and ra because dal has just fatha and the ra has also just fatha so just simply stretch the letter ba because it has alif mad it has alif mad you can also make circles on uh, the letter alif ba da ra it will help you when you make circles it will help you to uh, so you're going to just stretch the letter which has which has circle ba da ra next ta ta Taba'a 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 Do not stretch the ba and don't stretch the letter ayn Just stretch letter ta Next Tha 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 bara Tha bara Thabara Ba is light, make smile and Ra is heavy uh, Also in this exercise I am not writing uh, on every single letter S and H So wherever I need to write S and H uh, on those places I am just writing Thabara You can see here Ba is light and the Ra is heavy That's why I put soft and Ra is heavy Thabara Next, ja, ja, waza, ja, waza, ja, waza. Now there is a question for you that if the jim has no alif, there is no alif with jim, and this alif goes after za, alif goes after the letter za. Then how to pronounce? There is no alif with the jim, and the same alif goes after za. How to say? Yes, jawaza, jawaza. Now, say again the same the the way it's written. Put after after jim. Uh, put alif after jim. And pronounce Jawaza Jawaza. You can ask yourself different questions like put the alif after wow, put alif after za, and then ask yourself how to say it. If the alif comes after wa, wow, how to say it. If alif comes after za, then how to say it. If there is no alif at all in this word, then how to say Jawaza. 
Okay, so now we have alif with the jim. Stretch the jim. Don't stretch the wow and don't stretch the za. Ja wa za. Yes, next. Ha ha wa la. Ha wa la. Next. Kha kha sa ma. Kha sa ma. Next. Da. داوام داوام next ذا tongue letter ذا كارا ذا كارا next را را قاب را قاب next ذا ذا ولا ذا ولا next س س ألا س ألا next ش ش هذا ش هذا next ص صافحة smile on fa صافحة next ض ضعف why we are stretching the ضاد because it has ألف مد yes it has ألف مد ضعف smile on عين ضعف next ط طالب smile on لام طالب next ظ ظاهر smile on her ظاهر next ع عمل why we stretching the عين yes because it has ألف مد and مد means to stretch عمل what is the length of alif mad? Two harakat. Two harakat. Amala. Next. Gha. Gha fala. Gha fala. Next. Fa. Fa ta ha. Fa ta ha. Next. Qa. Qa sa ma. Smile on scene. قاسم next ك كتب كتب next لا لازم لازم next ما ما نع ما نع نا نا ولا نا ولا next و و فق و فق ها ها جر ها جر ها جر Next, ya, ya siru, ya siru, ya siru. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We have uh, completed page number 37. So in this exercise, uh, I'll give you advice that practice with alif. All the uh, words practice with alif. Start starting from beginning. Anasa. Badara Taba'a And after that ask yourself if there is no alif then how to say Anasa Badara Taba'a Second line Thabara with alif Jawaza with alif Hawala with alif And without alif Thabara Jawaza Hawala Same thing with the third line خاصمة with ألف خاصمة without ألف داوامة with ألف 
داوما without الف ذاكرا with الف ذاكرا without الف so practice this page with الف مد and without الف مد so because sometimes what happens is when the students start learning الف مد واو مد and يا مد they start forgetting the uh, the the verb with uh, without uh, which has no alif mad or no waw or no ya mad. so this way you will remember how to say the word without alif and how to say, how to say the word with alif mad. so i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy inshallah for you so this was our last lesson for this week inshallah we'll see you next week on same time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما